This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a quick way to switch to orthographic views? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. So if you hold down Shift inside of ZBrush, it'll lock to axis views. But sometimes this isn't fast enough. So say you want to look at the front view, and then you want to go directly to the back view. You know, it's going to take a little while to click around it. So is there a way that I can generate these views inside of ZBrush and then quickly switch to them? So the answer is yes. So to do this, I'm first gonna come over here to the document panel and just open this up. And I'm just gonna dock to the side. So I'm gonna click this button right here. And this is gonna just put that document panel over here. And in this document panel down here at the bottom, there's a zap link properties tab. So I'm just open that up. And in here you have a bunch of different buttons that are gonna allow you to store different views of your model. So let's say with Earthquake here, I have them at a direct front view, and I want to just now store this. So after you have them positioned to your liking, you just come over here and click front. This is automatically going to store a front view, and then correspondingly, it's going to store a back view. So now if I come over here and simply click back or front, it's going to switch to those views of the model. So just coming over here and simply clicking is going to change those views. So I can also now rotate to the right side of Earthquake here like so, and I can click the right button over here, which is gonna generate a right and a left button. So now I can see the left side, I can see the right side, I can see the back side, and I can see the front side. So you can quickly just have these views stored, and then if you're working on your model like so, and now you need to check one of those sides, you can just come over here and click left, and it's gonna pop right back into that view. Now you can also store custom views on this. So let's say you're working on Earthquake's mouth or his chin area. I can zoom in like so and have the angle, you know, something like this. And come over here and simply click this custom one button. And now it has stored this custom view. So let's say I'm working on here and then I want to see the right angle. So I can hit right and it's going to pop me back to it. And then I can click the custom and it's going to be right back where I was and sculpt some more. Then you want to see the entire back of them. Then I'm going to go back to custom. So you can just use these zap link buttons over here to store those angles. Now, if you want to clear an angle after you've had it stored, just simply click this clear to, and then the next one of these buttons you click, it's just going to erase the stored view. So I can say switch to earthquake now like this, and then do that as another custom view. And then I can go back to the front and go to the right and go back to the view I had. So really handy kind of functionality to get to the different angles. Now, one thing to note with this, if you have perspective on, it's going to stay on even if you had it off when you stored the views. So if you want a completely orthographic front view, just make sure that you have perspective off when you click the buttons, because it's not gonna remember if you had perspective on or perspective off when you're cycling through these buttons here. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.